hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel once again my name is mary oyankore and thank you so much for tuning in to this video today as you can see from the title of the video i'm going to talk about um ways for what preparation you need to do for your cqc registered manager um, interview preparing for your cqc registered manager interview i had my interview last year december and I'm going to come up to be about one year now in December this year 2023 that I've been a registered manager so basically things should still relatively be the same nothing much has changed in the, um, the interviews and the way CQC conducts these interviews so today I'm going to talk about the interview and the way I prepared for it and ways I can advise you to prepare for your registered manager interview if you're interested in this please continue watching and yes I am going to be very 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 short I wouldn't drag it on for too long and if you find the video helpful please don't forget to like this video and comment down below you can ask any questions and I'll be happy to answer them and if I do not have the answers to this question I will direct you to uh, any resources or website that you might be able to get the answers for those questions and please share this um, video with your loved ones or anyone that you think um, might benefit from this video and subscribe to my channel please <laughs> thank you very much supporting my channel i really appreciate it guys and yeah without taking further time let's dive right into the video um as you already know i already have some shots or videos on my page about registered manager and i've seen a big interest in that so i'll basically link the playlist somewhere around here you can be able to have a look um because i put some steps on about becoming a registered manager in the uk things that you need to actually have done before you get to the stage of even the interview so definitely make sure you watch that and you can then come back and watch this one afterwards so yes i would say you need to go and watch that video first if you haven't and if you have well let's dive right in and let's get into preparing for your interview before we then talk about the possible questions well definitely questions that you'll be asked on that day so yeah okay so uh i'm pretty sure everyone knows what a registered manager is so i'm not going to talk about that too much and if you do not know or maybe you are researching and you're trying to become one so registered manager is someone that is appointed by the company the organization to be the person that will be in charge of the CQC regulated activity so they basically they will be the one that will be acting on behalf of the company behalf of the provider let me use that term uh, to be able to help regulate all CQC activities because CQC is, is an accredited organization that makes sure that the care that we provide as an agency as a domiciliary agent um, caregiver as a support that the um, living um, accommodation whatever you are doing that is regulated under CQC to make sure that you are given the appropriate care to make sure that you are given the right care and everyone is regulated basically so that's what CQC do um, in a nutshell so and if it's something that you think you're ready for and you can do please definitely um, give it a go so uh, what I did to prepare for my register manager um, interview was basically CQC website is your favorite it's your it's your best friend every single thing you need to know is on your CQC website yes so please make sure you definitely check out the CQC website and read the guidance for providers another thing I would say is the company or the organization you're going to be working for if it is yours or somebody else that you're going to be registered manager for I would say you need to definitely dive in and read all your policies and procedures yes i would say just make sure you actually read every single thing but there are some main ones you need to make sure you fine tune or fine tune whichever way it is um that you read more about and this is the ones you probably has no, you've heard of it so many times you need to make sure you are <laughs> you know every single thing when it comes to safeguarding and your policy and procedures what is your company's policy and procedure when it comes to safeguarding and is it in line with the CQC uh, you need to know about your infection and control you need to know about the quality and diversity you need to know about infection and control you need to know so much more when it comes to recruitment in general how do you do your recruitment what is your company's policy on 
and procedure on recruitment because these are the things you need to know. Different companies or different providers have their own policies and procedures. It's generally similar or the same, but there's some things that might be different. This is why you need to make sure you read your policy and procedure of that organization, of that provider, so that when your interviewer asks you any question related to your policies and procedure, you are best, um, you know, to answer the question because you're equipped with the knowledge of, you know, your policy and procedure. During your application for a uh, registered manager or provi I mean, your provider application, they will have sent this document to CQC anyway. So they already have the document. What they're doing is texting your knowledge to know or see what do you know? Are you prepared? You know, can you actually manage this role? All they want to do at this interview is just to see if you have the quality, the skill, the knowledge to be able to be a registered manager, to be able to carry out uh, this, um, this regulated activity. They want to know if you know what to do if something happened. What would you do? That's why the interview is, you know, is about. So they basically text in your knowledge. And if you can prove and show your knowledge, then there is nothing, there's no reason why you wouldn't get um, your uh, certificate of register manager registration. So as long as you're prepared, there, there's no, there's no worries. Um, in terms of the interview itself, the interview runs up for almost three hours and in some organizations, they can have a provider that a provider can have, let's say someone that is a nominated individual and someone that is um, a registered manager. In my situation, I am both the registered manager and the nominated individual. So it's, <laughs> I am the one that did both interview basically because they, they kind of put the interview into two segments. I will talk more about the interview in my next video in terms of um, when I will, I will give you guys example questions to expect on your interviews and discuss more about the interview, more in depth about the interview and what you will need uh, during the interview itself. This video is just for preparation purpose only. Right. And another thing I would say is in terms of the policies and procedures, because if you are an organization or you would be uh, the registered manager for an organization that will be giving some specialized care, for example, autism, I would say you need to also read your policies and procedures along that autism route because when it comes to those kind of other ones with mental capacity or um, learning disability, autistic, autistic, they actually also have some other questions. Some people are also relevant, um, I wouldn't say relevant. Some people are also more specialized and doing end of care, end of life rather. So you need to definitely also know your policy and procedure on that aspect. So based on the services you'll be providing that your provider is registered for, you need to make sure you read the policy and procedure of those services because they would definitely um, another thing i would say is after you've done the guidance you've read it on CKC website you've also checked all your policies and procedure and you are up to date on that and don't forget all the other ones i mentioned in terms of this the ones that you need to make sure you know in terms of your company's policy one other thing you need to know about is your company's business plan because definitely you'll be asked question about that I would say make sure you read your business plan. Make sure in that business plan, you check your financial forecast that you've actually put down because you're gonna be asked questions about that. So you need to make sure you have checked the business plan, you've read the business plan, and you know what it entails. You know the aims and objectives of your company because the interviewer might or definitely will ask you those questions they want to know your aims for the company so make sure you've read the business plan make sure you know whatever they might ask you in that actually ask you questions about that because that's what you are specializing in that's what you are registering to provide service for so definitely i would say you need to read up on that as well and preparing for it and that thing would be to make sure you Clear your calendar for that time. Clear your calendar for that day. Uh, my interview started at nine o'clock in the morning. So yes, you just need to make sure in case it runs over three hours or in case you need to, you know, get to office earlier before nine, obviously, or whatever you have in your interview done, 
get there early to set up review some questions i would just say just leave your calendar open for that day just in case you never know and you're not basically rushing and you're in a space whereby you are able to answer the questions so another thing i would say you need to definitely be prepared um and make sure you research on would be everyone knows when it comes to cqc the keloids you need to know them inside out so do a research on that read up on it find out possible if you check on your CQC website you talk about the keloids everywhere so make sure you definitely check that and one other thing you definitely need to go and read up on would be all your acts you need to try and know most because you don't know which one they might end up asking you but definitely read up on all your CQC regulations try and know them know all the schedules know the care act know the ETA social care um, ETA social care act yes try and just basically check all of this even if it's just for you to you know quickly read it through just to just have a knowledge of it so when they ask you something related to that you have something to say because you don't really know which quest what question the interviewer would ask you in that act so i would definitely say read it know it at least in case they ask you anything when it comes to the regulations definitely know it and when I would also say this is something that is you should know as a research manager, as a carer, as anyone working in a management level when it comes to care, your duty of candor. You need to go and read up on that if you don't know what that is already. Definitely go and read up on that. There's so much more things that you can obviously do, prepare with when it comes to preparing for your interview. So if you have any question, like I said, please feel free to give me a contact or and put your comment there you can connect with me on social media i'll be very likely happy to help you in any way or form and a little background about me i am the registered manager for holistic recruiters limited we are based in Colchester, but we service both Colchester, london uh Birmingham. we literally go um out of Colchester anywhere within england so yes and we are also a domiciliary care provider and also going into support uh, support leaving. So definitely if you need any help when it comes to your registered manager application, um, preparing for it, possible questions, please don't forget to, you can definitely contact us. I'll put our details in the comment section below. Check it out, I mean in the description box below. Check it out and we'll definitely be able to support and help you in any way or form that we're able to do that. And yeah, connect with us on Instagram, Facebook and all our social media handles and I look forward to seeing you in my next video where I'm going to give you guys um, possible questions that definitely might or will come out or be asked on your CQC registered manager interview. I hope you find this video helpful. If you did, if you do, please like <laughs> and subscribe to my channel and turn the notification bell all the way up so that when I post the next video, you are going to be notified and you wouldn't miss it. I wish you all the best in your preparation for your interview and I'm pretty sure you're going to get it. See you in my next video. Thanks. Bye-bye.